Welcome to Great Online Training series on Pharmacovigilance Interview Questions and Answers. My name is Ramya and I am working as Pharmacovigilance Trainer for Great Online Training. If you want to get live training by me, register at greatonlinetraining.com for more details. In this video, we are going to prepare on the possible interview question regarding minimum criteria for valid reports. As we have discussed in our earlier video of exhibited reporting, validity is one of the key factors for submission of reports to the regulatory authorities. And also as per the guidelines from the GVP or the ICH or the COMS and also from the multiple regulatory authorities, only cases with the minimum criteria are to be submitted. So it is important to validate the reports before reporting them to the regulatory authorities to make sure that the minimum criteria for reporting are included in the reports. So now we will see what are these minimum criteria. So the first one is identifiable patient. So the report should contain an identifiable patient, identifiable reporter and a suspect product and valid adverse event or fatal outcome. So these four are the minimum criteria that any report should contain before we submit them to the regulatory authorities. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you can ask us in the comment section below. Uh, we will get back to you at earliest. Thank you for watching.